not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up. Nearly 20 knockout wins to his credit in a pro career that dates to 2005. Here is Jeremy Lil Heathen Stevens. And Joe, in terms of the one-punch knockout power, I'm not sure there's any greater threat in this featherweight division than Jeremy Stevens. Longtime Alliance MMA staple under Eric Del Fierro. Jeremy Stevens, still a young man, relatively speaking, despite the years and years of MMA experience that he brings to the table tonight. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. Tail the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Gavasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Jeremy Lil Heather Stevens! And now, he is his opponent, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good I luck. am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go, go down go, right go, now. Go, well, always great to be back in the MMA hotbed that is Rio de Janeiro as we get underway here at the Juness Arena in Brazil. All right, ready to go here, round one. There is the power threat, Jeremy Stevens, coming up on 20 career wins by knockout. And don't be surprised to see him finish strong as well. We know he starts quickly, but cardio has been a big ball. Oh! He's got him right here. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Beautiful. How about that chin? Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Landing a good series of strikes here. Big uppercut there from Jeremy Stevens. And he lands a single leg takedown. He's posturing up here. And 
Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Big shot from the bottom. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning oh, here he's on the got the, the neck here, Joe. This could be tight. He's out of the guillotine. Nicely timed sweep, and now he's in half guard. And now he's in north-south. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Excellent movement here on the ground. Inside control once again. He's got half guard. And he gets reversed. Back to full guard. Wow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice body kick. Tagged him. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, nice jab by Stevens. The kick gets through. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. And he's looking for that left. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Stevens. And they separate. Switching stances here. Seconds of round one. Oh, big kick! What a fight! Up, up, up. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. You need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and beat. Let's take a look at it again here. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And here it is from another angle. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. We're going to check around. You ready? Ready? Round two on the way. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Oh! Big leg kick lands. That's oh, a hard so hook. With that hook Joe. Upstairs. Oh, he gets tagged. He's definitely oh. rocked. Wow. Oh, very nice. Oh. Oh. oh, big shot. He's got him knocked down. Oh, we're getting to finish here. was close. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's in half guard here. Changing to the southpaw stance now, Joe. Constantly a moving target. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the... Whoa! Whoa! Huge right hand shot that got him the victory.
Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And here we see it again. I mean, just stiff. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, 